Hello, welcome or welcome back to True Seekers Tea. My name is Kate and I am so thankful to have you here for today's pick a card reading. We're gonna be looking at who is thinking about you and why is this person thinking about you. So in the first section, we're gonna be tuning in subjectively to how you view this person, um, any context we can get around this relationship with them or connection so you guys can know who it is. And then the second part, we'll be using um, tarot to go into why this person's thinking about you, like for what purpose, essentially. And then there will be an extended reading. It's going to be a different topic for all of the piles. So stay tuned for that if you guys do want to hear more after hearing the initial part from the uh, YouTube portion. So... Let's get into the pile selection. There are three piles to choose from. For pile number one, we have the Prisma Visions Tarot with the Angel Aura Crystal Point. For pile number two, we have the Cosmic Slumber Tarot with this Lapis Lazuli Crystal Point. And then for pile number three, we have the Radiant Wise Tarot with this Clear Quartz Raw Crystal. So take whatever time you need to tune into which pile you're feeling drawn to. You may be feeling drawn to more than one pile and that's totally fine. Um, there could be more than one person thinking about you. There could be overlapping messages. Um, so as always, just take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't and don't force anything to fit if it doesn't feel right to you or if it makes you feel more fear or discomfort or just doesn't seem true, like you don't have to take on those messages. So I will have the timestamps linked down in the description box. I'll have the extended readings there. I'll have these decks listed and any other information about me. So I hope that you guys enjoy these readings and I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the Prisma Vera Tarot and the Angel Aura Crystal Point, this is gonna be your reading where we're looking at who is thinking about you and why are they thinking about you. So we're gonna start off with who this person is to you. And instead of describing like specific character traits, um, I wanna go into the energy of how you view this person in your life or what your current thoughts and feelings are about this person So or any context behind the relationship. So. Spirit, can you please give me relevant information for pile number one about who this person is or first tune me into who is thinking about pile number one? What relevance does this person have to pile number one? What are their thoughts and feelings about this person? What context do they see them in? Who is this person to pile number one? What are their thoughts, feelings, perspective of this person? All right, we have the Seven of Swords coming out first. We have Justice. We have the Queen of Cups. How does pile number one think and feel view this person slash connection with them? We have the six of cups in reverse, okay. So this could be someone um, from your past. I'm getting an energy that this is someone you may have had um, deep feelings for with the queen of cups being here. Um, with the seven of swords, this person, you could feel like this person um, kind of snuck away from you or never revealed their feelings for you. Um, with justice here, I feel like there's a sense of maybe feeling like there was an action or something this person was supposed to do, or like you may have felt like there was some kind of unfinished business with this person. Um, and it's like, there's almost a feeling of there. Yeah, it feels like this person was meant or from your perspective, it's like they didn't maybe come through with. 
something that would make the past right is what I'm getting. So you definitely think about this person in regards of like, with justice here, I'm thinking of like karma. And so there's a sense of um, someone from your past that you may have had some kind of a like karmic tie with. It doesn't have to be negative, but it just feels like you would have felt a deep connection with this person. It feels like this would be someone that was significant to you. This isn't someone that you don't know. This isn't someone that you haven't thought about throughout time. I feel like this is someone who is in the background of your mind a lot because there's a sense of almost just waiting for more clarity or more understanding of maybe why you had such strong feelings for them. Um, what else? Who is this person to pile number one? We also have Libra energy. We have the moon in reverse. Yeah, it's like exactly what I was saying. There's an energy of feeling like there was supposed to be something revealed to you with the moon, something that you didn't see. Like it, it's like you've been waiting to find out the truth or um, to have something revealed to you is really what I'm getting. Like there's an un, there's unanswered questions, unfinished business um, in regards to this person from your past. And they may have like evaded giving you clarity, especially I'm just looking at this sword. Yeah. And it's almost interesting. Like I'm seeing this almost as like a karmic loop or like a spiral. And it's like the sword here is what would end a pattern or bring some sort of um, resolution. Um, yeah. All right. What else could you tell me about the, who this person is to pile number one? We have the five of wands in reverse and then the ace of wands. Okay. So yeah, this could be someone that you, yeah, we have the ace of cups in reverse underneath. There's a sense that there could have been a false start with this person or there could have been attraction, um, like a spiritual pull towards this person. I feel like there was this sense that this person was going to be important in your life. Um, and with the five of wands in reverse here for me this feels like there's some kind of a confrontation that wasn't able to occur um and so maybe you feel like this is someone who avoided um like talking things out or avoided avoided confrontation um someone who maybe you feel like they might be afraid in some sense of there's an energy here of like some, like I'm getting an image of a child that um, thinks that their parent is going to be really mad at, not to say that that's the dynamic, but it's like, it's almost this energy of thinking that they're going to be in trouble or they are going to be punished or something for the past. And it's like, there's an energy of this person being like guilty almost, but it's almost like if they would just come through with the truth, like that's all you want. Cause we have the queen of cups here, which is someone who's very empathetic. Um, and there's a loving energy that I feel like you do have towards this person, but there is this sense of like almost unnecessary confusion or from your perspective, it's like why this doesn't have to be confusing. It's almost like this could have been more easily resolved. Like, if, if the truth could have just came out or we addressed this at the time, but now that we didn't, um, it, there's like a lingering tie here where it's like, and it might've even felt like a little bit like a burden in a sense, but I feel like you have learned to surrender this more just with the queen of cups being here. And with the five of wands in reverse, there's just an energy of like, you wouldn't want to like fight with this person. It's not that you would want that. I feel like you just want a mutual understanding with them. Um, but there's a sense of this feeling like this person like avoids confrontation, avoids direct communication. Um, even though there's a sense of a passion here, but it's almost like there was a, maybe an inability to connect emotionally or to ground the connection. Um, we have cancer energy with the moon as well. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up so far. So let's see why this person is thinking about you. 
Also, if this is resonating and you want future readings to resonate even more, hitting the like button, leaving a comment, subscribing are all ways that I'm better able to tune into your specific situation. And it also supports the channel. So thank you for doing that. Also, there's going to be an extended, but I will be picking the topic intuitively and it might be different for each pile. So stay tuned for that if you guys are wanting more after um, the YouTube portion. Let's see, why is pile number one's person thinking about them? We have the chariot. We have the king of cups, wow. And it was interesting that we had the queen of cups um, with the queen of cups. And what I'm hearing is that this person hasn't been able to move on yet. And I'm not surprised to see the six of swords in reverse because it's almost this energy where it's like, because of this person maybe evading addressing things with you. Um, and there could have even been some sort of truth that was not, um, revealed. There's a sense of like a hidden truth here, or like maybe this person was not upfront about their emotional truth with you. Um, and they may have tried to avoid addressing that, but I'm seeing here, well, with the, with the chariot energy, we also have cancer. Um, yeah, so there's themes here of emotion and lessons around understanding how to appropriately maybe communicate emotions as well. Um, maybe how not to be like overwhelmed by them. But with the King of Cups here, this person, the reason why they're thinking of you is because they, they still have to sort out their feelings. There's almost a sense here of this person thinking that if they got enough space or time from the connection with you that they wouldn't have to like, like the problem. And I'm saying problem lightly because it's not really a problem. It's more like it's a problem to this person. Cause it feels like they have maybe troubles with being honest with their emotions. Um, but there's a sense here that they thought that maybe the emotions would go away or they may, yeah, maybe they're very used to being able to kind of, move on from situations and not have to go into the emotional depth of a situation. But there's a sense here that this person, it's almost like they can't move forward until they address their emotions for you. Um, and it's like, it's creating this imbalance within them. And I feel like this could even be their karma where it's like, they're meant to, they're, they were meant, they were meant, it feels like to, communicate with you about their emotions and to not deny their emotional truth with you. But it's like they tried to move forward without doing that. And it's like, I'm getting like with the cancer energy, it's like they could be like very protective of their energy or like they could have a tendency to almost like feel threatened by their emotions. But let me see what else. Why else is um, pile number, but they can't move forward essentially. There's baggage from the past that they are realizing they can't move forward. And it's because of a depth of feeling that they have for you, especially with counterpart energy coming through with the queen and king of cups. Maybe the empress also. Oh, and the emperor, you guys. Wow. Okay. Um, why else is pile number one's person thinking about them? We have temperance. Yeah, a lack of balance in the nine of swords. It's like they can't move forward without... Um, processing this and it's like they've internalized so much of their um there's a sense here of just like letting a lot of anxiety build up in them like they may have a lot of sh um not like they, they may have a hard time with emotional i've already said that like a hard time with emotional expression but it's like they can really question themselves and like the way that they're gonna say something and so they can just get really overwhelmed within themselves and kind of keep that within. And so it's actually creating um, a sense of dis-ease or like it's uncomfortable. They're not at balance with themselves and there's a lack of peace that they have. And I, I see this um, dove on the car here and it's like you feel like a key. It's like this person has tried to not feel that this is important or key to them 
resolving internal issues. I'm getting that there's like an internal sense of imbalance that's now come from a lack of balance between you and this person. And so there's a lot here about balance and um, because we have justice and temperance. And so I feel like both those things are about honoring two sides of something. And it's, it's also about like not ignoring something like temperance for me is about alchemy. And it's like, we can't just be one way. It's like, it's about um, learning how to temper two different elements. And I feel like this person has tried to maybe maybe be overly logical. Um, there's something about difficulty processing their emotions or like like expressing them, um, honoring them even. And so with this is also Sagittarius in reverse. It's like they may have not been open to exploring the connection with you just with it being Sagittarius. Um, but I feel like, and it's like, they may have tried to like move on or move forward, but it's like with the nine of swords here, it, there's an undeniable, um, blockage and a buildup of, um, overthinking and stress that like is related to their emotions for you. All right. What else? Um, why else is pal number one's person thinking about them? Oh, I'm hearing um, Selena Gomez. I want to hold you when I'm not supposed to, when I'm lying close to someone else. You're stuck in my head and I could get you out of it. Um, like I go back to you. And I feel like, I feel like their heart does go back to you. And again, there's a sense of I've tried to move on, but my heart, whenever I'm in tune with my emotions. It goes back to you, essentially. All right. I don't, I don't want to, um, we do have the four of wands that just came out. Um, I wasn't really asking the question, but what I'm getting from this is like a lack of peace and harmony within their home life. I feel like they haven't been able to create success. Um, I feel like they're experiencing difficulties in regards to their community potentially, but I, I don't want to pull that one because I wasn't asking. So for pile number three, why, or sorry, three, pile number one, why is this person thinking of them? We have the queen of swords in reverse. There could be someone in there. Um, there could be someone else that makes that, that they're having a really difficult time with, with the four of wands in reverse. For some of you, if they've tried to like live with another. I'm sorry, but my like throat just like cut off. Um, wow. So I'm, I'm getting here. Like, I feel like this person, they may have drawn in connections where there's a really strong lack of, um, good communication and emotional closeness. But I'm really getting that there's a there's a there could even be like a somewhat of an abusive character um, in their home is what I'm getting. Yeah, with the chariot as well, and like that being cancer energy. And then also like with the four of wands, there could be some sort of um, ending going on in their life or dysfunction that and it's like they may be trying to process like why this happened or what they should do. And, and there's a sense of um, a root cause of where they're at right now is also a root cause of why, of, of why of them not addressing things with you. Right. And so there's this lack of emotional fulfillment that they have um, where it's like, it's almost like they could try to run away from what makes them uncomfortable in some kind of a deficit, but then without doing that work, then they attract something in their life that shows them why they can't ignore that problem, right? Um, and so it's like the thing that would make things work with you is something that would create much more harmony for this person in a relationship. And until they develop that, they'll, they are, they're on this karmic loop, um, with difficult situations with difficult people. Um, wow. And like, look at this. I'm even seeing like, look at how there's like this, uh, geese here. Um, that's like, 
And I'm almost getting this like being like their thoughts and things like that. And I feel like this person, it's almost like they've had someone externally become a lot of their fears in a sense. Like I, I'm trying to exactly put that connection together, but it's like, I feel like this person has potentially internalized um, one of their parents' voices, maybe critical voices or um, like nagging kind of an energy. And it's like that now is a part of their internal dialogue. And But I feel like they then manifest people externally that are like that um, parental figure. And so they're in this karmic loop, and loop, loop, sorry. And I feel like that's why the truth of their emotions and like getting more in touch with their emotional truth and, and being able to quiet this like voice um, that may make them feel more insecure, that may make them feel inadequate, that does not respect them, right? Um, it's like, although maybe they don't have a strong emotional connection with that person, so maybe that makes them feel safe. It's like, that still has consequences. And yeah, and so I'm getting here that there's a karmic loop they're on with relationships. And it's like, by speaking the truth about you, like that's what sets them free. Um, yeah, all right. So we get one more for why this person is thinking about pile number one. We have the two of pentacles. I am getting, and then we have the six of cups in reverse as well. Yeah. So the, again, this definitely feels like someone from your past who they may be thinking about. Yeah. They may be trying to plan. I'm hearing an escape route, or, but like a new beginning, potentially they may want to start fresh. Um, like they want to wipe their slate clean. And it's like, they feel like they can't do that in their current situation. And so there's just a sense here of like, how can I move forward? And I feel like this person does want to figure out how they can bring more balance into the way that they prioritize their life, like maybe love in a career or just like who they're putting their energy and time into. Because I feel like this, per this person has gotten really imbalanced. Um, And it's like the the past is coming back to haunt them. And it, there's just a sense here that if they would have decided to deal with it then and make some of these shifts then, things wouldn't have gotten as difficult as they are now. But I feel like this person's trying to reorient their life or reprioritize their life with more balance so they can move forward. Um, okay. How does this relate though? Can you relate this more specifically to pile number one though? Why does this make them think of pile number one? We have the eight of cups in reverse because it's something that they need to walk away from. And again, it's something that they maybe didn't walk away from in the past with the eight of cups. There was a situation that was not emotionally fulfilling that you may have been a, like, not that you were making them unfulfilled. It's like they may have had an opportunity to walk away from this kind of an energy that, that they're dealing with now but they didn't do that. And they maybe didn't take the risk, right? With the fool there. They may have tried to stay with what was comfortable, familiar. Um, and they didn't make a change and, and they didn't honor their emotional, spiritual self that was calling them in another direction. They may have been in a scarcity mentality or they may have just been too afraid to explore or change or, and especially with temperance in reverse, it could even be that they're like afraid of, um, integrating new philosophies or, or updating their values. It's like this person's values weren't making them happy. And they may have also been a reflection of people from their family or something like that. And you in their life highlighted for them is like what that could have been like emotional happiness. But I feel like in order to have gone towards you, they would have had to change their priorities. Right. And so, yeah, this person is thinking about you because they're thinking about how can I integrate more emotional awareness and truth? How can I prioritize that more instead of this nagging voice of someone in my family, instead of this internalized critical voice that doesn't let me honor um 
my emotions. And yeah, we have the hangman, which for me, it's Pisces energy. And so I feel like this person is learning to integrate more of their emotional, spiritual part of themselves. And they're also meant to get a new perspective. They're meant to get a new uh, shift in uh, the way that they view things. And it feels like you're just a key part of that because it's like if this person reflects the worse that this situation gets for them, the more that they, it's highlighted for them the importance of the connection with you. Um, one more for why um, this relates to, and uh, yeah, and for me, this is like, especially if they felt like you could have been a wish fulfillment for them, like a nine of cups, uh, an emotional fulfillment, what they truly wanted emotionally is the nine of cups. You might have been that and they didn't, it feels like they didn't, um, prioritize it and I feel like they're realizing where real success comes from and for me it's like a sense of balance or for the chariot it is all right so one more for why this uh relates to pile number one why does this journey relate to pile number one? Why are they thinking about pile number one in regards to this? We have the Knight of, yeah, they think about how, um, so I feel like there's a sense of regret. With the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, I th there's a sense that they didn't move. Like, I feel like they're, they're reflecting. It's just right now, it's mainly highlighting for them how they've become too stagnant. They've become too, um, too slow, too earthy, too um, stuck. Like they feel stuck and they think about you because maybe they view you as free or they view you as just different. But I don't even think they've gotten that far. So I just want to be fair with that. They're thinking about you because you, ha you show them where they've been stuck by being different from that. And why they can't move on from the past. It's like, and I feel like this person maybe has thought back to you a lot in life and just been kind of confused about why. And it's almost like the more time that goes by, the more things are clicking into place. All right. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Um, for the extended, let's look at how this person feels about you um, and what they currently want in regards to the connection with you. And then we'll get you guidance on anything you need to know just generally or about this person. So um, we'll also get messages from them. So that's what I'll be looking at in the extended. If you guys want to join me, I'll have it linked um, right above the timestamps in the description box. Other than that, thank you so much for being here. Um, uh, if it resonated, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe so you don't miss any future pick a card readings. And I hope to connect with you again soon. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the Cosmic Slumber Tarot in this Lapis Lazuli Crystal Point, this is going to be your reading where we're looking at who is thinking about you and why is this person thinking about you. So we're going to start off with an energy check-in just to see who this person is to you. Um, so I'm going to be looking for subjective information from spirit. Um, to help me tune in to the context of this person, how you know them, um, what your current thoughts and feelings or experience has been with this person. So Spirit, please tune me into any information that can help me tune into the context of this person that's thinking about pile number two. Please tune me into the most um, significant energy that is in um, their energy field. Please help both myself and pile number two get clarity on who this person is to them. All right, pile number two. How do they view this person? What is their experience with them? Any information you can give me to help me understand who this person is to pile number two. All right, the Ace of Swords in reverse. the queen of pentacles in reverse 
We have the universe in the reverse position, which is the um, world. Oh, I realize I have to find something to cover the body here because YouTube is very strict with um, what you can show. All right, who is this person to pile number two? We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Three of Wands in reverse. Okay, so I feel, I was hearing this song, um, Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. Um, but what I'm getting just so far, I'll finish out the spread in a second. I feel like this is someone that may have caused you a lot of confusion or instability with the queen of pentacles in reverse there's an energy here of just like a lack of follow-through like a really strong sense of this person not following through on their actions or an energy of things really not going the way you expected with them and being left with like a lack of clarity with the ace of swords in reverse and a sense of like a lack of closure, like where it's almost like almost just being left in this position of like, what, what was the point of that? I just heard needlessly harassed. What was that? Oh my God. I think I read that somewhere and it always makes me laugh because that statement is so like funny to me. I don't know why, but like you may have been left feeling needlessly harassed or not, even, not necessarily at this person. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be this person. Like, actually harass you it's almost just this sense of like why did you even maybe like entertain a possibility with me or like why did you what was your point like with the universe in reverse like what was your end goal like why did you even like involve yourself with me if you didn't really have a clear plan I feel like this is someone who didn't have a clear um plan with you and it, it could have been that this person just didn't really they may have not clarified their intention or they may have like led you on a little bit or um made it seem like things were going to develop further but then they just didn't um this could be someone that you didn't like hear back from or like someone that didn't give you the clarity that you needed that kind of came through in pile number one but i'm getting a different energy from this this one almost feels more like, I just feel like there's kind of like this pointless. I'm seeing like that meme that's like, like the FAQ and it's like this woman like holding her hand out like, okay, like why? Like what? Like it, it's coming through a little bit more pathetic or just like, and this person maybe there's, this person could have made it seem like they were more than they were or made it seem like they wanted to invest in this more or that they were in a better position that they were, that they were in a maybe position to build something with you. Um, but it feels like they, they really weren't someone you could rely on, someone that you could trust, someone that you could build something with. From your perspective, this is also your perspective. So can you just finish out the spread? Anything else um, that could help us tune into this, who this person is for pile number two? Okay, the six of swords here and then the two of wands yeah maybe you had to make a decision just to kind of move on from this situation um yeah there's just a feeling here of like you didn't add anything to my life like if anything like the only way out was was me maybe having to move in a different direction than this because and you could have even felt like a sense of stagnancy like I'm getting an energy here of like you maybe wanting to build a relationship with someone or just like wanting to see some kind of progress or having some idea of the direction you want to go in and maybe having interest in this person and then them showing you interest but then it's like it feels like this person slowed down your progress or slow like caused stagnation for you caused um a lack of progress like where it's like the only way to move forward feels like having to pick a different route than this person. So this could be someone that you le you've left in the past. Um, 
I just feel like there was a dissatisfying, there's a sense of dissatisfaction and just like a lack of, like even maybe to like the, like even looking at like you speaking to the universe and just being like, what was the point? Or like, what was I supposed to learn from that? Or like, why, like, why did this happen this way? Um, Cause I feel like you just had to move on and move forward. And I think this was just like a negative time period for you. And I, or I just feel that this person didn't help in any forward growth in your life, but I'm not getting like a super strong sense of like deep pain from this person. I'm more getting like, okay, like that didn't really, like, why? Like, why? Why? Like, okay. Like, kind of just like a frustration of anything. Um, but let's see why this person's thinking about you. So hopefully someone comes to mind. This could have even been like a situation trip or, um, I don't know, someone that didn't really ever give you a reason for like why things didn't work out or they, they maybe like avoided accountability or responsibility. And yeah, I'm kind of getting an energy where it's like, if you didn't kind of force a decision or like maybe at some point you were like, okay, I'm kind of tired of this like wishy-washy or just like, I don't really feel like it's moving anywhere. Um, do you want this or not? Or like, what do you want? Like, I feel like this could have been someone who prolonged like the beginning stage of a relationship or just like not really wanting to have very much direction on in like someone who isn't very intentional. Uh, and I'm even seeing like a hinge profile and it's like, you know, if people, or if you guys know or you don't, but like some people will put on there, like, I'm not looking for, I'm not necessarily looking for a long-term relationship, but I'm dating intentionally. Like I'm dating with a purpose. Like I'm not just doing this for no reason. I feel like this is someone who felt like, like they didn't really have an intention or they, they weren't dating intentionally. Like they were just, and it's, it's almost like you guys might've projected some of your own, like common sense onto them like you might have just thought that this like common sense would tell you that if this person like was texting you or like let's say snapchatting you that they have some interest in you or that there's a reason for it right but I feel like there's just this feeling of like what's your intention or like why like I don't get that like I don't I don't get it and I'm hearing now I don't relate to you from that song um but I'm not getting something as intense as that song but that was coming through so maybe for some of you this could have had more of a negative impact on your life at that time. Especially if you guys were like on a new journey or a new beginning. Like I'm almost getting that like where it's like, I don't know, maybe you guys had just come out of something or you guys maybe just moved somewhere. It just feels like this was like not helpful to your like progress. <laughs> it's just what I'm getting. But let's see, why is this person thinking about pile number two? We have justice in reverse. Not surprised to see that. So we have Libra. Yeah, and also what I was noticing, unless I'm mistaken, all of those cards that came out for like the energy check-in, they were all like minor arcana. So it just kind of feels like there's a sense of like, why? Like it, it, and it could have just been a temporary situation or something, but yeah, we now we have Libra in reverse here. Um, so why is pile number two's person thinking about them? We have the Queen of Swords, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I'm hearing that um, like karma could be catching up to this person. And I'm kind of seeing or like immediately what's coming through is um, like, what's it called? The Ghost of Christmas Pass, where I feel like this person may have interacted in a similar way with other people. Or this could have been like a pattern for them or like just a way that they interacted that was just not helpful to other people or like it, it's almost like they again it's like needlessly harassed it's like what like needlessly thrown people off or needlessly like involved people or like had people like invest in them and then not following through with it and so I feel like this person could be um it could be catching up with them this behavior this lack of intentionality or even a sense of um I'm hearing like willful ignorance or just like being like, I don't know. Like, it's like this person knows. Here's the thing that's frustrating about this person is that it's almost like they hide behind people maybe assuming that like behind their actions there's an intention, but it's like, just as an example, this person could be like, well, I never said like a time frame when I wanted that, or I never, you know, I never really clarified 
or I didn't make an outright promise. So I'm not like lying or breaking it, but it's like kind of playing upon people's common sense, you know, like, yeah. Okay. Um, and it's like, it, it's, it's giving a feeling of taking advantage of other people's like good intentions and like how people just kind of assume that other people are like them. And I feel like this person has gotten away with using that to not to maybe get like have their cake and eat it too, or get energy from people. Like for me, it's far from like what would be worth it in my mind, but it could just be like, Oh, this person wanted attention or like instant gratification or something like that, but they didn't want to have to really commit or get like too involved in something. It might, it might be something like that, but like, or even like equal give and take, right? Like this person could just be someone that felt really comfortable with um, maybe putting low effort in, but like just enough or like breadcrumbing people, something like that. Um, and yeah. And, but I'm seeing here with the queen of swords, I'm wondering, I'll get more into it, but I'm wondering if you, either it feels like you called this person out, like this person could be used to people, like, especially if they've kind of taken advantage of a situation with people that they've deemed as like nice or like givers especially like this person could be like a taker essentially and someone that doesn't really plan ever on being giving as much as they receive in a relationship um and like again this could be the kind of person that kind of allows other people to like maybe feel slightly insecure and like give more to them or like feel like they have to prove themselves or sometimes i feel like if if we have like a wound around proving our worthiness i feel like we can like if someone isn't giving us a attention or reciprocal attention back or we feel like they aren't as interested in us it's like I feel like we can try harder or like kind of it can turn into like a chase and I feel like this person maybe lets people chase them or gives them just enough to like think that something's gonna happen but then they really don't have any intention of reciprocating or getting that invested but I just want to see um and so some of you may have called this person out for this like injustice um, especially like with the 10 of pentacles where it's like 10 of pentacles being in reverse for me, this is like representing a lack of long-term fruitfulness that this person brings to people. But anyways, let's see what else, why else is uh pile number two's person thinking of them? We have the ace of pentacles in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles, and then we have the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so I mean, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse here is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, Queen of Cups, King of Torches, not surprised to see any of this. In Seven of Torches, I'm wondering if some of you may have, this person maybe like has pride upon more insecure people, like with the Queen of Pentacles being in reverse in the first part, like especially if maybe in the beginning, like you were still finding your bearing in some capacity, but I feel like I I'm getting this energy of you maybe having stood in your power and walking away from this person or retracting some kind of an offer. You may even call this person out for being unequal. Like that's what I'm getting or being, or you might've stood in your power, stood in your worth, knowing your value and not playing into this person's game or this person's, uh, it's like they couldn't get away with um they couldn't get away with what they were trying to do with you or what they do with other people and I feel like the, I I, I want to get more into it but I, I'm getting that this is why this person is thinking to you specifically is because I feel like you may have you may have laid it out for this person whereas like maybe they were used to people just kind of not saying anything like maybe continuing to give and then getting bored or, or maybe just like just and like it being like a slow burn off where or maybe they are even used to people continuing to chase them or like be like being like heartbroken over them but I feel like there's this sense of you just being like okay well you don't have this isn't worth my time and so I feel like it kind of checked this person um okay I want to see Okay, why is the Four of Swords here? 
Why is the Four of Swords here in regards to why this person's thinking of them? Yeah, we have Judgment and then we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's this energy of you having, again, like called this person out. Like with the Two of Swords, you've called this person out and brought like a truth to their, um, you brought a higher truth to them. And I just don't think they like, I feel like they've underestimated people or just thought that there was no repercussion because with the two of swords in reverse, I feel like there's this energy of, um, again, this person may be staying stagnant or not making a decision or not. Um, I feel like this person pries on keeping people in this state of not knowing what they think or what they feel or what's going to happen next. And I feel like some people maybe don't want to see the truth about that. Like imagining judgment being in reverse. Some people may not want to really see the situation for what it is and put an end to it. Um, but I feel like you've done that or yeah, that's either you've done that. I feel like by specifically calling this person out and saying, okay, well, I don't really think you, um, I don't think this is a worthwhile investment for me. So I'm going to go my own way. Or maybe some of you just like very abruptly cut things off. So it could be that this person was just surprised by your actions or it, it called a higher truth to their knowledge. Like, I feel like there's just this energy of you having really pointed out to this person, either by your actions or through what you've said, that they're, the way that they're going about relationships isn't right. And I feel like this person is kind of realizing that they're like with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, they're viewing you, I feel like, as a missed opportunity. Um, but most more than anything, it's like you've shown this person that people who are secure enough and people who are actually worth building with, like high quality people or people that have um not everyone is someone that they can just loop into this game or loop into this um situation. And I, I'm seeing the six of um, wands here. And it's like, there's something about your confidence um, in yourself that like blocked you from this, like, yeah, and we, the King of Cups reverse, this emotional manipulation. I feel like they pride on people who, um, yeah, would get stuck in their head. Like, I feel like this is someone who, without even having to do very much, and I feel like it was through inaction or through like a lack of attention, and emotional manipulation, not being clear about their emotions and like keeping people in this like limbo state. It's like they would uh, pry on people's insecurities and kind of hook them in that way. And I just feel like they weren't able to do that with you. Um, yeah, we have an ace of wands. I feel like this person is like the king or queen of like false starts and beginnings that don't go anywhere. Um, can we clarify justice in reverse? Like what is this person realizing? We have nine of cups. Yeah, so I'm seeing here your two of wands in reverse. There's a lot here going on about this person kind of realizing that I don't think this person got what they wanted from the situation, number one. But I also feel like you demonstrated to this person like a healthy self-focus where it's like you're not going to play in like you're focused on what you want and you're not going to take breadcrumbs. You're not going to take like a situation where you're putting energy into something and I feel like this person like got unlucky with you, but in a, in a sense, I feel like it was like the universe's way of showing this person that this is not going to work for them with every person. And it's like forcing this person to look in the mirror and look at their ways. So I want to see, um, I want to see what else do I want to go into here? By the way, if this is resonating and you want more situations to be very, very spot on with your situations, one of the best ways you can do that is through liking the video, leaving a comment, and subscribing, because those are all forms of energy transference. And although it's just technological, it does actually serve as a form of energy connection with me. So it supports my channel and it helps me be more connected with you guys that do interact with the videos. So thank you for doing that. And I um, just wanted to say that. Also, we are going to have an extended reading and we're going to go into, I'm trying to think about what I want to dig further into for this reading. I feel like looking at, I want to see what you've taught this person. Um, I want to see how they feel about you. And I also want to see what they would say to you. And I feel like this reading is almost just showing you how your own work on yourself 
is serving as a very positive mirror to other people. And it's like, you guys may be feeling like confused about certain situations or like, it, especially if you guys have had like a couple of situations in your life where it's just like, I don't get like why that happened. I feel like the divine may even use you sometimes as like a lesson for other people that teaches them. Um, like it, it's something where you're not going to get looped in this karmic, situ karmic situation. It's almost like a test as well, where you get to demonstrate your development. And then other people are shown that they, they're shown that they can't just be the same way that they've been. And, and you actually cause people to, you cause like a blockage in their BS wheel essentially. And I feel like that's what happened with this person. So um, I guess like for some of you that are still curious about like what the purpose of this was, or like, I don't know, especially if this person, I feel like this would be the kind of person that if you did call them out, I doubt that they would ever give you the gratification of being like, wow, you know, like I'm going to change now or like that really highlights. I feel like this person wouldn't give you that. But I feel like the most notable thing about this reading is that you have made a big impact on this person's trajectory of their life. And it's almost one of those things where you might not know, you probably won't know that you probably do this for a lot of people where you just by being you and just like embodying your like vibration and who you are, you serve as a lesson for other people, even if to you, it's like, why did that happen? You know, that's what I'm kind of picking up on from this pile. So um, so for the extended, I want to look at what lesson you've been teaching this person. Um, I want to look at how they're currently feeling about you. What are their thoughts and feelings? And then we'll look at what they would say to you, um, just to see if they've kind of learned their lesson or where they're at. So I'll have that link down below in the description box, um, right above the timestamps. So if you want to join me there, um, I'd love to have you. But other than that, thank you so much for your time and your presence being here. I really enjoy reading for you. Hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe so you don't miss any future pick a card readings. And I hope to connect with you again soon. Hello, pile number three. If you chose the Radiant Wise Tarot with this clear quartz raw crystal point, this is going to be your reading where we're looking at who is thinking about you and why is this person thinking about you. So we're going to start off by looking at who this person is to you. Um, so just subjective information about what you think about this person, how you feel about this person, anything else that can help me get some context and then also help you know who this person is. So Spirit, please tune me into pile number three. What is the most prominent energy in their energy field? Thinking about them. Please tune me into the person that is most important for pile number three to hear about. I'm hearing um, often by the weekend and I'm not sure why, but I'm just hearing that. All right, so who is this person to pile number three? What? How does pile number three view this relationship with this person? How do they feel about this person? All right, the page of swords in the reverse. We have the devil. This is Capricorn energy with the devil there as well. How does pile number three know this person? What are their thoughts and feelings about them? We have the five of cups in reverse. Okay, and with often coming through, that song does kind of have like this undertone of um, like, I mean, if you guys know the song, it's like, um, she asked me if I do this every day. I say often. I just feel like it's kind of a song that has like more of a hedonistic um, energy to it. And so with the devil being here, I feel like this could be someone that you view as, um, well, with five of cups in reverse, I feel like this person may have caused you a significant amount of grief or... Um, this person 
this could be someone you've had to mourn or kind of grieve and especially could have been because I don't know if like they had like a player kind of an attitude. Um, but yeah, I feel like with the page of swords, it's like this person may say things that are, um, I don't know, like I'm kind of getting an energy of this person being very much in their ego and maybe saying things that are just like coming from their ego very specifically and maybe not the most like thoughtful person where it's like they may not have been super tuned into um, their emotions. And I feel like they could have used situations. Um, they could have been like more into like instant gratification or they may have not thought too deeply about like the way that they were impacting people. Um, this kind of energy is coming through, but in different ways for these piles. This is coming through more like a player kind of an energy. Um, but let me just clarify. Who is this person to pile number three? How do they view them? Thoughts and feelings about them. We have the two of wands. We have the king of swords in reverse. Ace of cups in reverse. I'm really getting that this is someone that, um, we have the hermit in reverse at the back of the deck. With the King of Swords in reverse, I'm getting this energy again that's very tuned out from their emotions. So I feel like this is someone that you would view as, like I'm picking up on an energy where it's like they pride themselves on maybe being like logical or in, like, th this is the kind of person where I'm just getting this energy of saying things that are not super um, emotionally sensitive or just being someone that prides themselves on being like honest or something because it's kind of coming through as like honesty um, and then not really balancing that out with kindness. Um, and so this could have been the kind of person also who maybe like didn't open up a lot or like didn't really see the value of um, relationships. Yeah. Um, I want to clarify, why is the... Why is the two of wands here for this person? We have the four of swords. Then with the hermit in reverse. Interesting. Okay, why is the... Okay, this could be the kind of person, I'm getting an energy where um, with the hermit in reverse, this person may avoid themselves. Like I feel like this is someone who isn't very in touch with their emotional self and they may just kind of make one decision to the next without really taking time to reflect and um, like figure out the meaning of situ situations. Like there's kind of a lack of insightfulness um, where it's like they might think that they there, there might be like a know-it-all energy or like a sort of an in denial of their own issues kind of an energy that feels like they know it all doesn't like to show their weakness maybe just like likes to keep it moving or keep moving forward um, but there's kind of this undertone of sadness or like an undertone of there actually being something that this person isn't addressing within themselves and this could be the kind of person who's surrounded themselves with a lot of people um or like just like on to the next thing um and they might even like uh be into like substances or like partying um sort of that lifestyle um but it feels like they lack this inner uh strength and wisdom with the hermit in reverse it's and that's virgo energy as well yeah and with the ace of cups it's like i feel like this is the kind of person who maybe leaves and i'm hearing like who do you think you are um run around leaving scars collecting your jar of hearts you're gonna catch a cold for the ice for i feel like i'm like wrapping this that doesn't even sound like rap but i'm just saying it very um out of tune with it but it's like um who do you think you are i feel like that's a good question for this person um, because again, it feels like they're in their ego and it's like, it feels like there is a coldness to them where I feel like they do leave 
like I feel like they do deplete people in the way that they live their life and I feel like they don't really see it as a problem and so this could be someone I don't know exactly your relationship to this person but I feel like you guys will know how this person fits into your life but it feels like th like I feel like your opinion of this person would be that they do need to slow down and like take some time I'm hearing like they need to be put on time out and take some time to think about their actions. Like, I'm, I'm just kind of seeing this as like, maybe you do need to take a break and like, think about what you've done or like, think about, be more intentional with your lifestyle or, or um, like, it's like this energy of refusing to see that they're maybe hurting people. And I feel like it comes from this place of um, inner lack within them and like a sense of, being out of touch with their emotions and maybe not wanting to process something from their past. You could also view this person as someone who's like running away from, you might know about something in their past where there could have been something painful for them. And it's like, they haven't fully healed from that. And I feel like they run away from that using like instant gratification um, through substance, maybe through like relationships, physical parts of relationships. And I feel like you see this as like a defense mechanism, this this uh, energy of almost acting like they don't care or they aren't taking relationships too seriously. So hopefully you guys will know who this person is. We're gonna see why this person is thinking about you. And if this is resonating so far, hitting the like button, leaving a comment, subscribing are all ways that I can better tune into your energy for future readings to be more specific to your situation. Also, there will be an extended reading where um, I will be doing probably a different topic for every pile. So if you guys are um, curious about anything else or you want to go more into depth into this reading, I will have a link to that in the in the description box. But Spirit, please tune in. Why is this person thinking about pile number three? Why is pile number three's person thinking about them? Or what? Even this, even if this isn't your person, but why is this person thinking about pile number three? We have the three of pentacles. I was getting this could be someone you work with. It doesn't have to be, but with the Capricorn energy, I, I was hit by that. Like, I feel like this could be someone you know from some sort of community it could be school work um but i am kind of getting that but it doesn't have to be the case why is pile number three's person thinking about them we have the star we have the hangman so we have pisces we have aquarius We have justice. Justice has come through in all three of these piles. And so I feel like a lot of people that are like a reason why they're being made to think of people right now is because I feel um, I feel like there's been a lot of karmic returns recently or I feel like the scales are balancing out where it's like if there's been past situations where you didn't really get closure on something or um it's like something never really came around and it could even be something that you've like forgotten about at this point or like not forgotten, but like it may not be even the forefront of your mind. I just feel like there's been an energy of people having to go back and like have to actually reflect on what has happened in the past. And so something I'm getting here though, just with the three of pentacles and the star coming out, I feel like there is this energy of this person thinking about or wanting to collaborate with you in some capacity in the future even being inspired by you with the star here. I feel like this person is thinking about you because they're inspired by you. And there's a lot about the future coming through. And with the hangman here, for me, this makes me feel like this person's getting a new perspective. And especially with the hangman coming out and this energy check being where it's like, it felt like this person wasn't really taking time to 
slow down and reflect and like think about their actions like that's exactly I feel like the hangman is this it, it embodies that energy of kind of having to surrender and go maybe I need to slow down and take some time to readjust and reflect and see this from a new perspective before I move forward like it's not a good idea to push forward right now um, and I'm seeing the ace of cups here as well back of the deck but yeah with justice here it makes me feel like this person has something has occurred in their life where they're now reflecting on you or they've been inspired in some capacity to make things right with you. Um, but we'll get more into it. Why is pal number three's person thinking about them? We have the knight of wands in reverse. We have the queen of wands in reverse. And then we have the emperor at the back of the deck. Okay, so I'm getting here with the Knight of Wands in reverse. I definitely think this could have been someone who acted like a player around you. Um, or they, yeah, I, I was really getting that. Like, just the Knight of Wands in reverse, this energy of someone that is really um, acting from this place of, like, fire, desire, like, passion. But it's, like, not really grounded in emotion or even earth. It feels like this person was... Um, almost like too much in their masculine energy, but this person is thinking about you because the queen of wands in reverse, this person may think that you are not happy with them, that they may have like pissed you off. Um, but yeah, with the emperor coming out at the back of the deck, I, I am feeling like this person has, it's almost like they were acting like they were like the emperor or someone who was like super in control, but I feel like they, let me just straighten this. I feel like they've kind of gotten a wake up call that, this knight of wands energy that they may have been in around you or that they are in i mean it just depends on what timeline you guys are on that that was not their best they were not um putting their best foot forward they were not really um acting in a fair way towards you and i, I can't help but notice that we had the knight of wands with the queen of wands and so it's like they're seeing you as above them and that may have been something that they didn't honor before. And it's almost like they made, I feel like this person's getting this perspective of what they need to heal also with the star. Because the star comes after the tower. And so it makes me feel like there's, this person may be having to rebuild something right now. Or they may be like actually being pushed into taking more responsibility for their life. Being more stable, more intentional. Um, having more of a plan and not like flying by the seat of their pants and um pretending like they're in this powerful position when they're actually not even they actually are out of touch with like their emotions essentially and I feel like because they've been out of touch with their emotions I feel like they didn't realize just how much they were mistreating other people and it's kind of like it put them in a very selfish energy that but and it's like this energy where I don't think this person's like having this revelation though that they didn't um they didn't realize what they were doing because I feel like they were just in this self-protection ego mode where like they were more focused on not feeling bad about themselves not feeling insufficient I feel like they were doing that through um you know like short-term gratification means that like really isn't going to impress anyone right it's like but I feel like this person wanted to impress people and I feel like a part of the reason why they took on this kind of energy is because maybe they thought that that would be like cool or something or like something that would make them stand out or seem like like the man or something or like I mean even if this is like a female like it would be still a similar energy or just like I don't know like a um like an f boy or f girl kind of and like just how that puts people in a kind of a position of power like some people think that it's like the person who cares less um you know, they just might have thought that was cool, but I feel like with the Three of Pentacles and Justice here, they're realizing how they may have screwed over or mistreated, overlooked in the process of focusing on themselves in this way and focusing on strengthening their ego. It's like they, they're seeing how they haven't been like a team player. They haven't been um, a true emperor, you know? It's just this energy of almost having this revelation around what it really means to step into emperor energy and it isn't misusing the masculine energy. It isn't about outwitting and like just going after like being all passionate and like that is, isn't necessarily makes you powerful it makes you powerful to be able to control that and so I feel like the emperor 
embodies that power of like air and fire, but it's, it's contained in the earth and it's serving instead of serving itself and its ego, it's serving more than just itself. And so I think this person's kind of just had this wake up call and, um, they're just like kind of having this realization about the way that they haven't been fair to, to you and also other people in their life. And I feel like with this star here, I feel like there's this, this understanding of it might be time to actually heal because I was getting that the reason why this person was being that way or like was kind of feeding after this lifestyle or this way of being or like not caring or something. It was because they had some sort of pain that they were experiencing that they were trying to cope with. And the star is all about actually healing and like feeling a sense of hope. And I feel like there's a sense here of this person kind of coming into the light a bit. So I am actually getting more and more positive energy from this person um, because it feels like they're learning. And I see this like river here. And for me, the river represents forgiveness and like letting go and like kind of the feminine principle of surrender here. And I feel like that's what this person has needed to do for a while in order to heal and in order to better themselves and become stronger. Um, yeah. So let me see if there's anything else. I just want to clarify, see if we can pull anything else. Um, what's, what's especially this person seeing now with the hangman? And it could even be that this person didn't even realize in the past how annoying they were or like how much they might have disrespected is what I'm hearing. Disrespected you or overlooked your value, overlooked your power even. Um, I, and there is kind of a, there's a slight, there's a sense of embarrassment and regret. Um, but it is still kind of self-focused and it's kind of like this moment of like, Oh my God, I didn't even fully realize what I was doing. And I just kind of feel stupid more than I feel like concerned about maybe how I hurt you. It's more like, it's still from this reference of ego a little bit where it's like, I thought I was doing what would make someone respect. I feel like there's respect coming through where it's like, I thought I was the way I was acting would make pile number three respect me more. But I'm realizing that, that I actually acted in a way that probably pissed them off. And now I just feel like it's hard to look at is what I would say. But it's like, if this person is wanting to level up and step into this emperor energy, it's something I'm hearing like that they have to, they have to learn how to take action and, and like be a leader, right? A leader isn't someone that acts in the way that I feel like they act when they're around you. Um, but yeah, can we clarify the hangman around like what they're seeing? We have the, yeah, Wheel of Fortune reverse. I'm, I'm seeing here that it's like, it's like this person is realizing that the way that they've been acting with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like they've been trying to act like they're invincible or they've been trying to run away from, again, like their emotions. They've been, I feel like they've also been trying to be in denial about, especially if like thing, especially like you, for example, if you're something that like fell out of this person's life, I feel like they may have not really acknowledged that that was like a loss. And again, they might've been in that energy of, okay, I'm just going to keep moving forward. But I feel like enough things, I feel like the universe has really been showing them that they're not like this, like all-star, like super cool guy or girl. Like they are someone who's susceptible to, you know, losses and, sometimes they have to just surrender to that fact and not try to be in control of everything. Right. It's like, I feel like this person was trying to be in control, even if like other people's perceptions of them trying to be in control of their life. And it's like, they're kind of realizing that they have to like humble themselves and kind of admit hum like learning to humble themselves is such a huge aspect of this person's growth and to have enough humility to acknowledge that they're not like invincible, you know? <laughs> Which sounds obvious to me. Why is the Queen of Wands here in reverse? We have the devil. Yeah. I feel like this person realizes that they may have um, been a negative impact in your life. And that 
they and I feel like this person maybe didn't acknowledge that their intentions towards you were the way that they were like I feel like they had low vibrational intentions towards you and I feel like you had every right to feel frustrated at them or to not give in to whatever this was or whatever happened that it might be different for everyone but I just feel like there's this energy here of like in the past they might have really not wanted to validate your concerns about them or it's like they didn't want they didn't um there's a strong energy of the way they were interpreting events and like people's reactions being like very incorrect and so I feel like this person like let's say someone um didn't like let's say someone rejected them like I feel like they would be like oh um I don't it doesn't mean that I need to slow down and look at my actions and think about like maybe why someone wouldn't see the value in me or like it was like more of this like self-protection energy of well they just they're crazy or like they are um insecure so like whatever they couldn't like or like they're trying to make me jealous or something you know like there's just kind of this way of thinking about things that I just don't think was true and it kind of fed their ego um yeah and with the nine of cups in reverse it's kind of this energy also of realizing that if I keep going about things in this way I'm actually not going to get what I want um yeah and I just think a lot is becoming clear to this person um can we clarify the star yeah we have the two of cups in reverse yeah there's a lot becoming clear to this person about healing a need to heal their relationships and even their relationship with relationships like um a need to and again I feel like this could have started from some difficult breakup or they could have felt betrayed or not even betrayed but like they could have just felt like their ego took a really strong toll and so I feel like ever since then they've been in this energy of like me versus you or like I need to prove myself like instead of thinking about like the the collective or like the team and Aquarius energy is actually a very objective energy that um and like the opposite of Aquarius is Leo and so there's an energy here of this person through yeah and like okay so this is actually so interesting because I, I was really seeing how it's like this person's own ego was distorting objective information around them. Aquarius energy is very much like able to see things clearly without their ego getting in the way. Like they can take data and see things objectively. And so that's what this person's been missing. And so I just feel like this person is having realizations about the way they've like gone about relationships, the way that they've been viewing them being like that their own ego was in the way of that. And what are they seeing? Or, and what does this inspire in them? How does this impact them? Spirit. We have the eight of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like it's motivated them, especially with the knight of wands being here like as a very different energy than the eight of pentacles yeah knight of swords it's it's caused them to slow down and actually make sure they know what they're talking about like it's putting them more into a virgo energy of like service and thinking about like like making sure that they're, if they're focusing on themselves it's not from this ego lens it's not from this lens of like Oh, I want to one up people. It's like, no, I want to, I want to dedicate myself to my craft and, and what I can serve other people with. And I want to actually make sure that my actions and like who I am really represents like who I say I am and that I, I contribute my fair share instead of kind of being this like a hole. Like, I just feel like there's this like a hole energy. And yeah, and I'm seeing here after this, we have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the lovers. I feel like Ace of Cups. There's been enough experiences this person has had. With like, I feel like honestly, like high quality queen energies that are just pointing out to them that I feel like a lot of people haven't wanted to work with them or haven't wanted to, haven't been interested in them. And I feel like it's because of the way that they've been. And again, it, it's, it's giving me the energy. I've been watching a lot of Survivor, which I always am watching Survivor. It's kind of like that wake up call. I feel like a lot of people come into Survivor and they just like, they get really checked especially when they have to watch the season over because they'll be saying stuff like, 
I'm the man, like I'm so like tough or like, you know, I'm gonna win this whole thing. Like they don't know what's coming for them. And then like, meanwhile, every person like hates them, doesn't want to form an alliance with them. And it's like, they're in this position where they can keep pretending it like they can keep ignoring the objective evidence that people are not happy with them. People are like, even it like, let's say that they, I, I watched a recent season and it was like the person that got to the end got there by completely screwing everyone over, like crossing the line. And this person got zero votes by the jury. So at the very, if you guys have never watched Survivor, it's like people that get voted out end up be, end up um, picking the winner. Like they all vote, they get one vote when there's like two or three people left to pick who wins. And this person like kept just feeling so awesome. Like they were getting ahead and they're just like so arrogant and insensitive to the way that they were impacting other people that they got literally zero votes and they didn't win the game. And even when it was time for the reunion, they were still sitting there being like, I should have won. Like, you know, this game should be different. And it's kind of like this denial. And it's like, if you could have enough humility to look at this, you might actually learn something from it. Like you might actually learn how to be who you think you are, how to be someone Cause it's like, it's like that. It's like, why be this like masculine figure? Maybe that like outwits other people. It's like in a, in survivor, it's like outwit outlast. And it is a game at the end of the day of every man for himself. Right. And it's like the masculine principle is, is the I, and then the feminine is like the we, and it's like, but the survivor is a game of both of those. And it's like, you can't get at the end of the day, I needs we. And I feel like there's kind of this lesson here that this person's going through where they're having to adjust their strategy. And, but, and there are a lot of people who go on Survivor and like are like, wow, I've learned so much about myself. Like if I go in the game again, I'm gonna have such a different strategy. And I think it can go both ways where it's like, let's say a person is overly feminine, like overly passive and is like kind of martyring themselves. That same thing had happened in Survivor where they watch the season over and they're like, wow, like I should have made more moves. I should have been more out for myself. Like I regret not doing that. But it's like, I feel like this person is just on this end of the spectrum of learning about a balanced way to be in your masculine energy and understanding that relationships aren't there just for you to step on and to boast up your ego. Like you need to actually treat relationships with respect and that's what a true masculine does, what a true leader does. And so I think there could have been something here where this person really did not, hasn't been treating you that way. And I feel like there is this energy of, okay, I need to put my money where my mouth is. And, and I feel like there is this energy of learning about like with Libra being here, it's like Libra is all about relationships and it's about coming to the table, thinking about equality and fairness and being able to because Aries is all about and we have Aries with the Emperor Aries is the self but on the opposite axis we have Libra and it's like Libra is two selves coming together to make one whole and that was like the well Gemini is the lovers but I feel like it also applies here where it's like um we have the lovers underneath this. This person's just going through lessons around that. And I feel like at the time that maybe you guys interacted, I don't think this person was fully cognizant of their own flaws and like their own, it's like they were, I'm hearing like, just like two, I, I don't, I just don't want to like swear on this, but it's like two, two up their own, like ASS to, see what was going on and and that just might have been really frustrating for you guys I can imagine but I do think this person is leveling up and learning how to be more objective and see things more clearly and like take data and actually do something with that data um yeah so for this pile for the extended I want to go into what this person would want to say to you, if they were being completely honest, we'll channel a message from them. We'll get message cards as well. Um, we'll, we can look at what this person's next actions might be. If they're planning to take any action towards you, um, given this shift that they're going through. Um, yeah, like if thinking about you is going to turn into any kind of an action and then we'll get you guidance on anything you need to know about this connection, um, how to move forward. If you guys are feeling like you, um, want a little more guidance. 
So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. I will have the link to the extended in the description and I'll leave a comment with it. Other than that though, if you guys are able to hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, um, that's awesome. And I hope to connect with you guys again sometime soon.